Hi, Kim Wallace with Pilates for Pros, and I've stolen Emily Bailey, dietitian at Nutriformance, to demo this hip flexor stretch that I give to most of my athletes. Um, she's starting in a squared off position here, heel right underneath the knee, and most of us go right into that lunge forward here, but you want to go into a pelvic tilt first. So she's curling that pelvis underneath her. She's going to feel that isolated hip flexor stretch to start. And then I'm going to have her lean forward just a little bit to deepen that stretch, still keeping the pelvic tilt. And then she can open up her upper body, leaning back, which can bring it up into the psoas if you're really tight. And then come forward with the upper body here. And if you take the same arm as leg, so right fist in, inside of the right knee here, take the left hand and reach up and over, you'll get a big stretch all the way through those obliques, hip flexor, TFL, good. And then come back here. And then to, if you're really tight in the hip flexors, another way to get her get deeper is to go a little bit of internal rotation with the back leg. So she's taking the foot just outside of the knee and then going through that same um, series that we did. So tucking the pelvis underneath her first, then leaning forward, then opening the upper body, good, coming back and then going into that side stretch. And ideally you wanna hold each of those positions for about 20 seconds before you go to the next one.